Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload an image onto your project and also how to display it on the screen. So this is how it works. You just click on the input field, select an image, click open, and the image is going to appear on the screen. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we have to do is create an input field. We're gonna change this from text to file. Let's give this an ID. I'm gonna give it a name of image input. And we also have to indicate, well, we don't have to, but it's good practice to indicate which type of files you want to accept. So I'm gonna accept PNG and also JPG. All right, now we're going to create a div where the image is going to go. So we're going to give this an ID of display image. And of course, you don't have to display the image if you don't want. You could just, you know, upload the image and then add it to a database or do whatever you want with it. In this example, we're going to show you how to display it on the screen just to show you how to do that as well. All right, that's it for the HTML. All right, in here, everything that we're going to add is basically for demonstration purposes. You don't really need any of this to add an image to your project. So in the body, we're going to turn it into a flex box just to place the contents in the center of the screen. So we're going to use justify content center, line item center, gap of 10 pixels. This is going to separate the input field from the image a little bit. And let's use flex direction column. And let's also change the height to 100 VH. This is going to make the size of the body the size of the screen. All right. And for the div where the image is going to go, we're going to change the width to 375 pixels. And let's give it a height of 211 pixels. And if you're wondering why I gave it a height of 211 pixels, that wasn't just random. I'm actually using the 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and that's going to make sure that the image is going to display nice and neat inside of our container. All right, let's give this a border of one pixel solid black, just so you can see where the image is going to go. And we're also going to use background position center together with background size cover. So these two properties are gonna make sure that once we add the image to the container, the image displays nice and neat inside of the container. All right, that's it for the CSS. Once again, I want to be clear that we don't need these features to make this work. This is just for demonstration purposes. All right, in the JavaScript is where the magic happens. We're going to start by getting access to this input field. We're going to store it in a variable called image input. That is the same name of the ID that we gave the input field. To get access to that input field, we're going to use the query selector. And we're going to type in the name of the ID that we gave it, which is image input. All right. We're also going to create a variable where we're going to store the uploaded image. So we're gonna call it uploaded image, and this is gonna be a global variable. The reason that we're making it a global variable is because we wanna be able to access this uploaded image no matter where we are in the program. So if you wanna store this image in inside of a database, if you wanna create a function for that, then you'll be able to access the image in that function. All right, so currently if we click this and we just select an image it doesn't actually do anything because and we haven't added an event listener to tell a hey, do this once the user inputs a file in fact if i do inspect console it doesn't actually do anything it didn't it didn't do anything i mean it didn't even display an error really so what we have to do is add an event listener to this input field to tell it what to do when the user adds an image. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So we're going to say image input at event listener. We're going to use the change listener here. And we're going to create a function. All right. And in here, let's simply console log image input value. All right. So let's try this again. Let's just input an image and it's not showing up here yet. Let's inspect console and notice what it returned. It just returned this fake path. This is not even the path of the image, but what it's not doing is certainly not displaying the image on the container, which is what we want. So we have to take care of that. All right, let's get rid of this. So in order to read the file that the user selected, we have to use the file reader object. So we're going to store that file reader object inside of this variable reader. And now we have to add an event listener to this reader variable. So add event listener, and this is the load event listener. Let's use the arrow operator here. So once the so once the image is uploaded, we're going to store it in the uploaded image variable that we created here, and we're going to read the file using the reader object like this. All right. So at this point, we have the image and we can display it on the screen now. So we're going to do document query selector. Let's access the div where the image is going to go. We gave that an ID of display image. Let's use style background image. Now we're going to set the URL equal to the name of the uploaded image variable that is. So we're going to just type in uploaded image. All right. And one last thing we need to do is add this line of code. Otherwise, this is not going to work. All right, and that should be it. Now, when the user clicks on this and select an image, they should be able to see their image on the container here. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. If this works for you, don't forget to hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.